Hi guys, welcome back to Bariatric Beauty and Finishing School. Today I want to talk about why people hide weight loss surgery and what's that about. If you're interested, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Bariatric Beauty and Finishing School. My name's Kelsey and I'm an 11 year post-op of gastric bypass. I've lost 256 pounds. I want to talk today about why people hide weight loss surgery. So you see this in the media all the time with celebrities, with public figures, politicians, even some people probably in your own friend group or family, you know someone who has had weight loss surgery but says they didn't or they try to hide it. And why is that? I always thought it was really weird and initially I know my family didn't want me to talk about it and I don't think it was any sort of malicious intent on their behalf. I think they just prefer to be private and I prefer to be loud and talk about everything. And one of the interesting things about that is here I am making YouTube videos about it. So. Let's talk about it. I think one of the main reasons why people hide that they have weight loss surgery is that they're ashamed of their choice. The fact that they needed surgical intervention to correct a weight problem is kind of embarrassing. I mean, a lot of people will be like, oh, you're taking the easy way out. And that feels like shaming big time. And that leads a lot of people to just be like, I'm not gonna talk about it then. And it has created this sort of like underground weight loss or community. It also tends to be sort of a feeling amongst our society, especially, that somehow being fat is unacceptable. And I do think that there is some truth as far as people who want to lead healthy, productive lives. Like being fat and trying to be healthy is unacceptable because at the end of the day, being fat or being morbidly obese is gonna catch up to you. Now, being fat or chubby or whatever, fine. I can't claim to know anybody's health status, but I can tell you if you're 300 pounds, you're gonna have health problems at some point. People who have weight loss surgery often feel like that. They feel like being fat was unacceptable and they can have weight loss surgery, lose all the weight, and then they can pretend that that fat person just never existed or that they were never that person or that there was some sort of a reason why they were like that. A lot of people will throw medical terms around that kind of thing to sort of shield away what actually happened. I know when Star Jones initially had weight loss surgery, she hid it for a long time and she could have been one of our greatest advocates, but instead, turned it into this, same, into this thing where we should feel ashamed to have done it. And that's really unfortunate. Number two, I think, is prejudice. People have a lot of opinions and they have a lot of prejudice opinions when it comes to fat people. And although I do agree with the medical community that obesity has become an epidemic, not only in the, in the United States, but in a lot of the Western world, I don't want to put my own views on someone's health onto them because I'm not them and I'm not their doctor. But like I said, you can't be 300 pounds and expect to live a long, healthy life. It's just, it's not possible. A lot of people have a lot of opinions based on health or based on what they think health means. I mean, I know a lot of unhealthy, skinny people, so it's not just related to weight, but it is related to weight if you are morbidly obese. The other thing is, is people have a lot of opinions like it's easy or you're taking the easy way out or you're making a mistake or it's too dangerous or you don't need to have surgery, just eat more salad or work out or, or whatever. And a lot of us spent our lives being ridiculed or shamed or embarrassed about our weight. The last thing we want to do is have that thrust into the spotlight and talk about it and talk about being overweight and talk about feeling like we have to have surgery to lose weight. I can see in those cases, if you have a unsupportive family or whatever, that you don't want to talk about it. Or if you come from a community where you've heard someone else has had it and people ridiculed them. You know, it's, it's unfortunate, but it's fairly common in our society these days. So it's one of those things where there's a lot of negativity and a lot of prejudice out there. And so a lot of people just don't want to talk. Another reason is privacy. A lot of people are really private about medical history. I, those of us who are on YouTube are less private, but there are a lot of people that don't talk about when they go to the doctor and something's wrong or they have a, you know, allergy or whatever. They don't like to talk about personal things and that's totally fine. It also goes along with, they don't want to have to answer a bunch of personal questions like, well, how much did you weigh before? And how much are you looking to lose? How much do you weigh now? Those kind of things. So. Some people are just very private, so I think they want to keep their privacy 
intact by not talking about it. The biggest one, I think, is uncertainty. When you're morbidly obese, likely you've tried to lose weight before, and there is this little voice in the back of your head that tells you you can't do it, you can't lose weight, you'll never lose weight, you'll never be thinner, you'll always be fat, and you'll just keep getting fatter. And what if it doesn't work? What if weight loss surgery just doesn't work? What if it is a scam? What if all these people who said they had it did something miraculous that you can't do? And what if you have it and a year later you're still fat? I can tell you it has been really hard uh, with my regain to talk about having weight loss surgery because I had weight loss surgery 11 years ago and I'm fat again. And that's a really guilty kind of a shameful feeling for me and why is that because you don't want to talk about that you did this thing and you had this like miraculous like rebirth and this new life and then all of a sudden you just went back to the person you were before it's like you didn't even change you didn't learn anything and in my case it's like I learned a lot of things and unfortunately I made a lot of mistakes and some things were out of my control and some things were in my control but it's that uncertainty of if you can actually lose weight that leads people to not want to talk about it because if they don't say they're having weight loss surgery and they end up losing weight like great but if they say it and they don't it's like one more thing that we've said we're gonna do and we can't do I mean I remember going on Atkins and telling my whole family well I'm gonna lose a hundred pounds on Atkins diet and after I lost 30 pounds and got super sick because the Atkins diet sucks it's like what do you say at that point? It's incredibly difficult to eat your own words. So I think that has a lot to do with it. Why do you think people hide weight loss surgery? Are you someone who's hiding it? What are your reasons? I'd love to hear from you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to see my next video and I'll see you guys in the next one.